We turn now to Indonesia, where one province has embraced Islamic Sharia law. Strict new laws there are subjecting both Muslims and non-Muslims to harsh punishments for drinking alcohol, gambling, homosexuality and extramarital sex. No religious law has ever had worse press as the Sharia has in recent times. Should we be afraid of Sharia law? What happened in these countries? They came under the Sharia law. Sharia law a term that carries some weighted expectations, but often misunderstood by many outside the Muslim world. In many cases, it's a moral code to abide to and strive for, but in Banda Aceh, Indonesia's only Sharia law state, it's not just a concept, but a daily, often harsh reality. The Sharia was just supposed to be a way of living. It was not meant to be associated with political power. As a non-Muslim, non-Indonesian woman, I traveled to Banda Aceh, one of the places in the world with the strictest Sharia law implementation to see what daily life truly is like in a city with a violent and depressing history. In this video, we'll explore the streets, sights, sounds, and realities of life under Sharia law, but there's just one more thing to challenge us. I'm drooling, I'm so hungry. It's right in the middle of Ramadan, in a city where breaking fast before sundown Four minutes. can result in a public flogging or imprisonment. After trying Ramadan in Jakarta, I boarded a plane to Aceh province to start the journey. As I landed in Banda Aceh, Thank you, Thermakasi. The capital city of this heavily Sharia law police state, I tried to remove my bias and take in this city and its people for what it truly is. Good morning. We are here in Bandacha and I'm really excited to explore today. However, we did realize that it is, of course, Ramadan. So no one's selling food. No one has food that we can go and get. We can't order food. There's no food. I, for some reason, kind of forgot that Ramadan here applies for everyone. It's not just if you're Muslim or not because we can't buy food. So it looks like we're fasting today. And I don't know why I didn't think, I, didn't, I don't know why I didn't put that together. I'm already pretty hungry. And I didn't even have sahura this morning, which is when you eat before the sun rises. I didn't even have that because I kind of forgot that it's Ramadan and we can't get food in Banda Aceh. So, here we are. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing this for like five hours because <laughs> we don't have anything to do. So this is what Ramadan feels like. <laughs> so we are walking around this beautiful mosque to get to Iftar, which is where everyone will break their fast for the day because it's Ramadan right now. So <laughs> everyone's going to break their fast at, I think, 6.50? 6.50 tonight. 6.50 tonight. It's all dependent on what time the sun goes down and so it changes every single day. But it's 6.50 tonight and um, we're going to explore more of this mosque probably tomorrow because I can't go in without my um, hair covered. So I'm going to have to grab something to get my hair covered with and pop in tomorrow. And it looks really beautiful from here. So we're going to head, like I said, around the mosque. Salamat siya. Salamat to you. Oh, terima kasih. Terima kasih. He said welcome to Aceh. Ah, hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> hello. Salamat to you. Hello. 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 You, you, you. Aku? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Bagus? Bagus. <laughs> terima kasih. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> so since this is basically my first walk out here in a place that has Currently, Sharia law. I'm just not sure what to expect. Like, I honestly don't. Like, I don't know. I've heard the people are nice, so let's uh, let's see. So far, so good. <laughs> Everyone's getting ready for your car. You've got Salamatian. The lady popped her head down to say hello. So far, good start. Everyone's been pretty friendly so yeah. far, right? <laughs> hello. <laughs> <laughs> she just waved out to us twice and then she covered her face. Yeah. That's so cute. So we've come across this like grounds, like this oval, and they've just set up stalls here. So obviously, I guess for Ramadan, they've set this up. Maybe it's on all the time, I don't know. But it would make sense that they're here all in one spot for iftar and then they can break fast together and, and grab some food. And there seems to be some children's things with some balloons and bubbles and to keep them, I guess, occupied and maybe more distracted so they're not hungry. How are you? Good, how are you? Fine. Where are you going? Just walking. Just walking. Yeah, waiting to eat. Go? Australia. Oh, Say bagus. Bagus. Terima kasih. You're welcome. <laughs> I just instinctively like 
put my hand on the small You of can't the back. do that. Yeah, I realized that. Don't touch that. me, don't touch me. Just like instinctively, because we had like a moment with that guy. I was like, oh. Don't touch me. <laughs> yeah. You're getting arrested. <laughs> yeah, but that's, that has happened here. Probably flashings for couples that are together who aren't married, and we're not married. Oh. He's the best, yeah, loveliest can't brother I've ever never seen. Yeah. <laughs> After arriving at the park, we started to get the feeling that this city was a little sleepier than we had been led to believe. That Ramadan market we were searching for, that truly local experience, was a little bland and empty. And we find out later in the video just why that is. <laughs> Alright, so we are currently unsure of the etiquette when ordering before iftar. <laughs> so we're wondering whether we order now. Oh, we wait. I'm not sure. I think we just order it and we just sit here and wait till the prayer goes on. Too long, Aku. Uh, yang ini? Yeah, satu. Yeah. Ten. 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 Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Yeah, that's okay. Too long, Aku. Ya, Ceh, dua, satu. Two, uh, satu, satu, satu. And then? Uh, Indomie goreng. Indomie goreng. Yang ini, yang ini. Ah, yeah. uh, satu. Tidak pedas. Tidak pedas. Tidak pedas. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Bule. <laughs> uh, minum. Yeah. What do you want? Yang juice. Yeah, one? juice. Okay. Uh, juice. Apple. Apple. Yeah. Yang apple. ini. Apple. Apple. Uh, Milo. Huh? Milo. Milo. Yes. Yeah, satu. Dingin. 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 Okay. Yes. Yeah, satu. Ice. Dingin. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Terima Thank kasih. you. I just asked if it was pedas for me just yeah, but, to make sure it was. But that's not what you said. You, do. I know. you said make it spicy. Basically. I know he added a spice to it. That's okay. I'll do it. I've got, I've got a juice apple, so I'll be okay. <laughs> so now, obviously, since it's iftar, we just have to wait ten minutes uh, or more for them to bring it out because there's not time to break fast yet. So this is uh, a challenge, but I'm happy to abide by the local culture. Um, not to say it's easy, to be honest with you, though. What'd you get? Apple. Yours looks good. Apple. <laughs> apple. Cool. Thank you. I've got a couple more minutes, I think, to wait. I can smell those cucumbers. Wow. Why are they smell so strong? I'm, dro I'm drooling. I'm drooling. I'm so hungry. This is hard. Hard friends. This is hard. Okay, we are one minute, basically, from iftar and being able to eat. So I got the miyacha because I've heard it's really spicy. So take a bite and see if Josie can handle it before I let her go near it. It's the most pedas pedas I've had in a long time. You can't have this, it's too spicy for you. I don't know how I'm gonna get through it. Permissi? Uh, bawa pulang? Is it okay? And uh, barapa haga? How much is that? Barapa? Empat lima. Forty. Forty-five. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Enak. Enak. Pedas. 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 Bye. So that was 45,000 Indonesian rupiah, which was like very affordable for a meal. Like that's probably the cheapest set of food that we've had since being in Indonesia. But it was too spicy for me, so I didn't eat mine. And Mark was getting his takeaway to be nice. My nose is running from the spice. It's like completely liquid in there. I thought you asked pedas. After dinner, I sought out a coffee. Sumatran beans are literally famous and I wanted to try them out. But even though it was after sunset, the seller wasn't at the store. I'm so confused. Why can't we now buy anything? Just as I was about to head back to the hotel, a friendly local explained that the seller was at his nighttime prayer. Praying. What time do they come? Uh, 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 maybe it's uh, uh, yes, uh, 15 minutes. Oh, 15. Yeah. Okay, all right. Thank you. So Thank you. Like it's, uh, and then praying yeah. and then back to selling. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you. So <laughs> Just like the family at dinner, the people here so far have been exceedingly friendly, curious, and also helpful. Hopefully a sign of things to come. Bagus! Aku? Bagus. Indonesia. From? Australia. You? Australia. What is your name? Oh, my name. Uh, is it Akunaba Michael? You? Aku Josie. I am Musti Kurata, Japan, yeah? Ah, oh, bagus, uh, bagus. Uh, no, no, no Muslim. No, Muslim, no. Okay. no uh, today. Uh, Christian. Nothing. No? Actually? Nothing. 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 I am Muslim. Yeah? Yes? Yeah. Bagus? Uh, yeah. Yeah, bagus. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. 
Waalaikum salam. Ya. Oh, oh. <laughs> I am like football Australia, football Australia. Football? Ah, football ah. Australia. Uh, striker. Striker? Uh, Tim Cahill? Yeah. yeah. Tim Cahill. Everton. <laughs> Everton, yeah. Uh, you like to play uh, football, eh? Yeah, yeah that's good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm speaking English little little. Oh, English bagus. No, no, no. Yeah, bagus, no, no bagus. Good, no good. Baby, baby, no, baby. No, oh, today. No, no. <laughs> you, no married. Not yet. Salam alaikum. Nice to meet you. Salam alaikum. Oh, he's so friendly. That was so nice. There is more to Acha than Sharia law, and it would be wrong of me to come here and not speak about the event that shaped both the physical and political spheres of this city and the state itself. A trip to the Tsunami Museum was the first step in understanding a tragedy that killed over 200,000 people in this very city less than two decades ago. We come in this part and there's just water dropping on us. Well, and you can, right. all you can, yeah, and all you can hear is the water. And you just imagine like that's all that they heard, you know? It's going to be a heavy morning. 7.58 a.m. December 26, 2004. A normal morning in Banda Aceh. Many going about their daily business. Vendors setting up stalls, children playing games in the street, and families shopping for the day's food. Just 30 seconds later. Tens of millions of tons of water. A 9.2 magnitude earthquake struck. Not too far from Banda Aceh. Nothing and no one can stand against them. The resulting three tsunami waves, each up to 100 feet tall, subsequently killed over 230,000 people in 14 countries, 170,000 of those from Indonesia. The most devastated area was right here in Banda Aceh. Over 60,000 dead, 25% of the population gone in what was described by locals as a black giant mountain of water that surged through properties and people kilometers from the shore. But it wasn't just the areas within kilometers of the beach that were devastated. The Archer River flowed black for up to 40 kilometers inland, carrying debris, vehicles, and sadly, thousands of bodies. So we are here at this boat that landed here in the tsunami. It's just in the middle of nowhere. Like, well, not nowhere. We're in the middle of like the village. It's just a local street. There it is story here you can't see it right now because the structure ironically is in the way <sighs> but there is mountain ranges up this way and the story of this is that there was a lady who had walked into town for the morning we're about five kilometers from town from the beach and she walked in and she had there was an earthquake earlier in the morning she'd gone in to see what was going on um, and then she turned around and seen that the waves coming towards her from the tsunami was taller than the mountain she couldn't see the mountain to give you a reference it's nearly as high as that tree but in the distance she's sprinting back to this is her village and she was saying that there is a wave coming like run get to high ground and there was no high ground to get to as you can see and this boat landed on top of this house and wedged itself there so all the people there was one um one captain on there he helped them and 59 people got in there and were able to be above the flood levels of the water and survived. And on the boat. 200,000 people died and they survived because that boat landed there. This is just pure yeah. luck that this landed next to them. Or well, they would have been gone as well. I'm not sure if you can see properly because it's a bit, I don't know, the shade's a bit weird, but you can see here is where it's literally like, like in the house. Like it's just like wedged itself or like broken this part of the wall and just set itself exactly right into this uh, wall, well roof, I guess at the time. So. I mean, and it obviously it was sturdy enough to hold it there for the entire time that there was a the tsunami water. So that's actually pretty crazy. After a day of reflection, we decided it was best to further integrate ourselves with the people of this town. So far, I found that no one has been unfriendly, which is awesome. That was... <laughs> he's like five years old on a bike. <laughs> he took me by surprise because he's like seven on a bike. And I was like, what? And then he was just like, he like waved at us when I waved at him. While Ramadan meant every single shop serving food Hello was again. banned from doing so, even to us non-Muslims, it also meant a unified city all waiting for the same moment 
iftar or the breaking of fast at sundown. We didn't really do iftar well properly yesterday. We got, we got a dud uh, a bit of information. <clears throat> of so we went to the wrong place. So now we're going to go to um, a bit of market, which we think that what people normally would do is go buy the food and then take it back to their home, which in hindsight, I should have realized from my previous video where my friend took me back to her house and that's how they break fast. That's how they do iftar and, um, at Maghrib. So, my bad, um, but we're gonna do that today and hopefully that's the right way of doing it and we actually get around when all the people actually buy, buy the food. So we did what the locals do and headed to the Ramadan markets to break our fast and lift our spirits. So this is what happens. We come here and we buy this and we go back to our house. It's basically that's what I'm coming. Oh look! Yeah. Oh, I want something like that. Ooh, assalamu Oh. Wow, there's all these, that looks good. Yeah, that's oh, I'm so hungry. I fasted all day and I'm starving. Okay, we have all of these little finger foods, which is the little um, bits of things that you buy and then just eat all in once. Okay, I can only imagine if, you know, you are Muslim and you're doing this all month, what this time of day really, like, would be awesome, I think. Because I'm not used to doing this and the, all of this food looks so good to me because I haven't had it all day so I can only imagine what it's like for them or maybe they're more used to it than I am I don't know but everything looks an act Salam alaikum uh, oh. Pedas Tadak pedas uh, Apa ini? Sayur Sayur Oh you see Tahu Oh Tahu some of them? Yeah 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 And tadak pedas? Yeah Okay uh, How much you want? Yang ini Stua? One inch uh, Stua Barapa? Huh? Barapa? Seribu. One thousand? One hundred? Yeah, seribu. Yeah, seribu. Okay. Alright, one thousand. Okay. Dua. Dua. Terima kasih. Uh, aku terak mau. Huh, no spice. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Thank you. So, so much. So, two thousand. What's that? I've got my denomination. Twenty cents. Twenty cents. Okay. For two. So, ten cents each. Alright, this is busy. Look at this. Wow, this is crazy. Alright, guys. I'm like, I'm like overstimulated right now. Do you want a donut? Yeah, That's chocolate and cheese. That's your mother back. Welcome. Do you want one? Hello. Yeah, I'll get some. Uh, apa ini? Uh, that's one vanilla on vanilla? the top of that crumble of red velvet. Red velvet crumble. Oh, enak. Okay. Uh, berapa? Uh, six thousand. For satu? For one. Six thousand for one. Okay. Do you want one? What's this one? This one tiramisu. Tiramisu. Oh, do you want to get that one and that one and share? Do you like red velvet? No, I'll get chocolate and cheese. Sorry. Ah. Oh. I like chocolate. Tiramisu. Uh, yang yeah. ini? Oh, satu? Three pieces. Twenty. You want three? We'll get your, you can get your... Okay, we'll get uh, Tiga, Tiga. Yang ini, Yang ini, and Yang ini. Terima kasih. Oh, the an omelette? Yeah, 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 enough. I'm going there. Uh, is it pedas? Yeah. Pedas? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tadak pedas. Uh, okay, I don't want it then if it's hot. This one looks spicy. I'll get one. We'll try it a You get one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arabu. 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 How much? What does? Yeah, satu. Satu. Okay, you want one? Yeah. yeah. Ah, satu. Yang yeah. ini. Satu. Terima kasih. Oh, sorry. All right. Terima kasih. This is getting absolutely insane. Salam alaikum. Uh, apa ini? Ini semangka. Demikai. What's that? Kokono. <laughs> eh, ah, punarin. Kokomelon. Watermelon. Oh, thank Watermelon. you. Terima kasih. Oh. Uh, berapa? For satu? Uh, How much? <laughs> Lima ribu. Five hundred. Five thousand. Five thousand. Okay, yeah. satu, satu. That's the food. Yeah, nice. Oh, like. I'm cool to that mouth. Terima kasih. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Terima kasih. Thank you. Yeah. Did you want one? Excellent. Excellent. You don't want one? Yeah, let's get one. You don't want? How much? How much? Abu Rapa. In his pro rebu. It's four level. Uh, four level. What's ten, that? Ten, ten, ten. ten. Okay, uh, thank you, Terima Kasih. Ten, ten, ten. Uh, where's, where's, <laughs> Which where's one do you want? Uh, apa ini? Espua. 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 What's Which spua? is the best one? Best one. In, inak. Inak. Which one? Prelga. <laughs> yeah. Yang ini. Yang ini. Yang ini. Ini sepuluh. Itu lima ribu. This one. You like this one? Nice. Inak. Inak. Oh, mantap. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yang ini. Yang ini. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yes, okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Ah. Uh, oh, it looks pedas. Tidak pedas. Tidak pedas. Tidak pedas. Okay. Ah, uh, apa ani? Goreng. Goreng. Ah. Is miyacha? 
Miacho? Yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, yeah. berapa? Berapa? Sepuluh. Sepuluh. Satu bungkus. Satu? Yeah. Okay, uh, satu, satu. Yang ini? Yeah. Yeah. Terima kasih. Nah, need help. Ini kuahnya campur ya. Okay, okay. Okay. Tapi I need more money. Okay. 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 Terima kasih. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Apa kak? Ini butuh. Apa ini? Satu. Butuh. Sweet. Oh, ini? Satu. Butuh. Oh, ini? Oh, ini? Oh, ini? Oh, is there one that's not spicy? This one? Okay, so, uh, dua, dua. They look good. Spring rolls. Pedos? Just get it anyway. Get dua. Okay, dua yang ini, dua yang ini. <laughs> Thank you. Terima kasih. Go to Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you? Thank you, Thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, we have a lot of stuff right now, so um, that was absolutely crazy and I am kind of sad we missed that yesterday night, last night to be honest with you, but at least we learned from our mistakes, we did some research, we looked it up and we knew that that was kind of the place to come to and be, to be able to do that because that was awesome. Now we're going to go back and um, break our fast, which we had to do here, you can't eat, it's uh, illegal for the vendors to sell um, food. Um, during Ramadan hours in Ramadan time here. So we've been fasting, so, and I'm not used to that. I do need a coffee at some point, so maybe we'll go out later tonight, um, because that's when everything comes alive again, when they're allowed to open back up. So yeah, we'll see what happens. We've got so many little bags of food. So many things, look at we this. We have so much look. stuff, man. <laughs> Hello, man. Hello. Salaam yeah. Alaikum. Yeah, yeah. our friend from last night. Yeah. Abu Kaba. Bagus? Bagus. Bagus. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh, Ipar. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 With our takjil selected, we were ready to break fast in a peaceful spot on the river. We are waiting for another, I don't know, four minutes. You can hear the uh, mosque and the prayer in the background. I've never been somewhere where I hear like this much prayer like before. It's almost all day. Like it's a lot of the day. Could isn't be it? a Ramadan thing. Maybe around exactly. There's so much that might be but different. But it's like every two hours. There might be so much that's different because it's Ramadan. Um, but yeah, we have so much stuff here, which is what we just bought at the market. I'm just starving. Like I'm, I'm waiting for everyone else. But two more minutes. So just looking at these people Brand. sitting on and they're drinking water now. Yeah, they're drinking water. So I assume that we can now eat. So let's have some of our... What are these called again? Taj? Taj? That alarm. Yeah. That went off last night and then the kids repeated the alarm and they ate. Quit? The alarm means you can eat it. Yeah. I've got a whole bag of little bite-sized things. Got my drink here. I've got those noodles, which I know are gonna be spicy, even though he said they're not. And then at the market, he said this one was nice, so I'm gonna taste it. All right, he said this was good. And I have no idea what it is. It looks like, I don't know, like a pumpkin cake. <laughs> oh, actually that is good. Wow, okay. This is nice. We are about to go out for some coffee, but I've actually learnt that I'm not allowed out past 11 p.m. Um, as a female, so we won't be out too late. Things don't open again to 10 though. And things don't, that's annoying. Yeah, so we'll go at 10, get a coffee, and then try and get back here. And obviously no matter where you are in the world, like the basic principles of Ramadan will be practiced simil similarly. I'm not an expert, neither is Josie, but this is a strictly conservative Sharia law state where everything is done properly, um, which is cool to observe and see, right? Kind of. Yeah, yeah. For, for, I feel, yeah, for a couple of days. Yeah. If you're very into your faith, this is probably, you know, one of the best places to be. There's a lot that I don't agree with about it. Obviously, yeah, fundamentally. I, I think it just has to be said. Like, I'm not going to come here and pretend that I agree or believe in all the things that they do, but... I think the best thing to do in life is, even if you don't agree with someone's lifestyle or beliefs or thoughts, is to be tolerant of their ability to have them. And I hope that by coming to these places and us being tolerant of those beliefs that we may not agree with, then people from these places can 
practice some tolerance back in return and we can all be better for the experience. There's no reason why everyone can't be friends even if we don't agree with each other fundamentally anyway. Oh, well, that's nice. And after dinner? Well, you know why I need a coffee. With our flight leaving the next day, we got out amongst the busy streets at night for one last taste of Bunda Ache. Woo! Woo! Told you. Oh. Oh. Is that fireworks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Salam I don't know if you were being talked into saying rude things or if that was actually their name that was stoked. I don't know, who knows? Kids will be kids. That's actually so freaking cute. <laughs> All right, so what have we got? Can I get a, a latte? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Ice. Ding, ding, ding. Ice. Yeah, is that dingin? Dinging? Dingin. Dingin, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, ice. Satu. 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 Oh, tadak, tadak. Tadak. Tadak manas. Tadak. Tadak manners? How do I say sugar? Gula. Gula. Ah, gula. Tadak gula. No sugar. Yeah. No sugar. Do you want to drink here or for takeaway? What do you want to do? Take There's away. no drink? Take away, please. Oh, Chamakasi. Oh, thank you. Bagus. <laughs> Chamakasi. And these guys are open, I think, till 4 a.m. I saw. Oh, till 4 a.m. But we can't be here very long because I'm not allowed to have a You're not. I can come get a coffee. I don't like that. <laughs> Chamakasi. <laughs> Yeah, it's delicious. delicious. All right, well, I'm really excited. So that cost 22. It was 20 without takeaway. So 20, honestly, is like, oh, we've been come from Jakarta. They cost a little bit more there because it's a city, right? These guys are specialty, though. This and these like... are specialty. Because I got one for 18 the other day. So it's only 2,000 more. And I need to let you know before you $2. Drink, the best coffee beans come from Sumatra. Oh, and we're in Sumatra. And these guys are the best in the city. So this is the best coffee in Indonesia, basically. Yeah, sure. well, potentially <laughs> the world. Well, it's like, potentially the world. Well, this is where oh, the best come coffee beans on. come from. Come on. Like I have to say, it's amazing. It's up there. Yeah. It's actually the amazing. Other, the hot ones was really nice. It is that good. Okay, I'm actually not just saying this. It's actually up there with one of my favorite coffees. Michael's just guilted me into having an actual, like, sock drawn copy from Sumatra. Let's see if we can get just like maybe a pool coffee from Take here. Away. No, we'll just have it here and go. Assalamualaikum. Coffee. Coffee. Yeah. Coffee. coffee. With milk, sugar. Milk, no sugar. Huh? Milk, no sugar. Uh, meal? Seven. Seven. That's okay. All right, that's fine. No uh, sugar today. Terima kasih. Ah, satu, satu. Whoa. Whoa. Terima kasih. That a go. Okay. So I have the coffee from here, Acha, in Sumatra. So this should be some of the best coffee in the entire world with the beans from Sumatra in Indonesia. It is hot. I got it with milk, 7,000 Indonesian rupiah. That for sure has sugar in it. Does it? Yeah. I think it was too sweet milk. I like sweet milk. It's too sweet for me. I don't like any sugar in coffee. Like I like... Like are these guys have like, got black coffees? Black. Okay, so maybe the milk was the sweet part, but the coffee itself is so smooth. It's good coffee, it's just hard for me to taste coffee when it's sweet. It's super smooth, it's smooth coffee. It's really like flavorful and it's and it's really smooth beans. I don't know whether it's a medium roast, dark roast, I don't know how it works, but it's really nice. You actually like sweet coffee, so you have a little sip and tell me what you think. You are the only woman in here though. Yeah, I don't know if I was actually even allowed to be in here. You might not be allowed to be, Oops. but no one's getting it. So. Oh, it's so strong. Is it? Yeah. No, I just like I just like coffee. I taste. think the sweet has over like overtaken it for you, but it's such a strong coffee. But hey, these are the best beans in the world, and this is obviously a very popular place to come and get it. So I'm glad we took a little detour. Yeah, like Michael said, I'm the only female here, which I don't know if I'm meant to be here or not, and that's one of the things I'm like, what am I meant to do? What am I not meant to do? All right, let's go. Ready? Right. Grab my coffee, don't forget that one. <laughs> Stocking up on some essentials before we head back to the room because again, I can't come out again, so. Perfect. Okay, bye-bye. Terima kasih. All right, so let's head uh, back to the room. It's hard to sum up Banda Acha and my experience. 
From where I sit in life as someone who is not religious, but deeply curious about religion and culture, and it was on my way to the airport, leaving the city that had me feeling welcomed, but not comfortable, that a conversation with my driver reinforced my reason for traveling and my decision to come in the first place. Our driver, 18 at the time of the tsunami, shared his personal story with us and he treated us with kindness, just as so many in the city had. He welcomed us, there was no prejudice, despite me being about as different from him as the world would have you believe. It's our friend! Bye! We're going tomorrow! <laughs> oh, bye! Bye! There was connection, and while I can say I don't agree with the rule of law in Bandacha, I do believe in the individuality of all humans, and we all have a story. And I was able to better understand this city, this faith, these people by having an open mind, removing my personal bias and doing the one thing that I think enriches every travel experience. If you just say hello. Hello, Salamasia. Hi. Hello. Hello. Salamasia. Hello. Hello again. Hi, Salamasia. Hi. Assalamualaikum.